guys, we're playing a card game today called Myth God. Hi, you look new here. Myth Guard is still in early access, so there are cards and features still to come, and an account wipe. Please share your feedback with our scrappy little development team on Reddit or Discord. <laughs> look at the options here. Unpaid labor is the watchword of my generation. <laughs> oh, hey, Axolotl. How you doing? My brother used to have some Axolotls. They're neat. That one looks adorable. My name is Ix, and I am an axolotl. While I'm here, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Only if it will optimize my tutorial experience. Are you familiar with Hearthstone? <laughs> nope, did you just stick two words together at random? Uh, let's see. I played some who hasn't. Enough of that little toad. I'm Seipo the Devourer. Don't be alarmed, the devouring comes later. Have you played Magic the Gathering? When I hear someone say tap that, the first thing that comes to mind is a card turning sideways. They want to know how, my, how much experience I have with both of those games and when they gauge my experience with this game. The early access experience. This is a this, this is an interesting little thing. Uh, I think the... Well, I didn't get a good look at it, but when I was loading this game up on Steam, there, I think there was an article that shows up in the preview that's like... That indicates this might be from ex-Blizzard developers, so it actually might have to do with people that worked on Hearthstone. But this game's called Mythgard with a Y. I guess that's actually... Wait, that's just how you spell myth. Never mind. Whoa, you almost got devoured. I bet you're glad I'm back. Would you like more questions? Not if there's a chance of getting devoured. Um, okay. Well, here it is. The day I break out of prison. Truth is, this place didn't always feel so bad. You see, my boyfriend is kind of a big deal. Ruler of the dead, the king of darkness. Grand poop up. Don't tell him about the last one. I, I don't know what you said. I didn't catch up on time. But when he left, he was all. Do not leave the protection of this realm. So now that's a law. Now that's a law. <clears throat> Fast forward. He's been missing for centuries, the jerk. So screw it, I'm leaving. Just going to pop out, find my mom, and find out why it's been a thousand years since anybody bothered to stop by. There's the gatekeeper. Great guy. He might be the only one still doing his job around here. He's about to have a terrible day. I feel kind of bad. Oh, because we're about to kick his ass to leave? The gatekeeper. Ancient and narrow of focus. It only it knows only the decree of its master. Entering the realm is permitted. Leaving is not. That's like the opposite of how gatekeepers usually work. My lady, the door is not yours to take. It's been long enough. I think it's time we ease up on the whole none shall pass thing. My queen, none can change the decrees of the realm save its lord, not even you. Figured you'd see it that way. Have you heard of the Bat of Persuasion? Oh, it's just an actual bat. I have not. We're gonna hit him with a bat. This seems to be the takeaway. Am I supposed to go click on this? Huh, why is there a proceed button there, but not anywhere up until then? This game has cool art. Weird lack of sound effects for some of these, like that... Like, there should probably be voice acting, first of all. But also, that sequence should probably have sounds for when it's all like lightning -y and stuff. Play minions and use them to attack the gatekeeper. Reduce the gatekeeper's life to zero to win. Okie dokie. One way or another, I'm getting out of here. 
The first thing I need to do is burn a card. Burning a card gives me one mana and one gem. Oh, what did he just... Uh, they put it down there. They just, okay, they slide a card down to there. Okay. Mana and gems refresh every turn. Drag the Chloe Sunshine to the bottom of the screen to burn the card. Bye. All right. That Minitar costs one mana and one red gem. Now let's create a minion. Where's my mana and where's my red gem? Your mana's displayed here. Oh, there's the gem. Okay, well, I know both those things now. <laughs> they want me to create a Minitar. A mini, mini, minitar. Oh, look at him. Oh, it's adorable. I think I might have... I think there might have been a maze in the back of the coloring book. Oh. So it's got two attack and one blood or whatever, maybe? And there's the there's the mana cost. I mean, the, the gem cost. And where's the... I guess that up there is the mana cost and that's the gem, yeah. There you go. Minions must wait a turn to attack. Most minions are sluggish when they are first created. It should uh, it should perk up next turn. That's a good start, but the gatekeeper won't step aside without a fight. We each have 10 life points. So do you inherently have to throw away cards when you play in this game? That's definitely a different mechanic. Cards always cost both mana and gems. Burning cards builds up my resources. After a few turns, I'll be able to play more powerful cards. I should burn this forlorn spirit. Awaken. Deal one damage to your opponent. Awaken is... Oh, it's a... Uh, it's like a deploy ability in Thronebreaker. Okay. So it says two mana, one, one red gem. Is that what I'll get for burning it then? I only got one additional mana and one red gem. All right, now I have two mana to use each turn. To use each turn? Oh. So the mana that you get from burning comes back every turn. So it's actually kind of a big deal. I thought you had to do like almost a, like a one-to-one, -one, like burn half your cards in order to play the other half, essentially. Drag the other Forlorn Spirit from your hand to any lane. So he'll deal- they'll deal one damage just when I play them. A nice lady named, uh, Melanoe wanted me to go with her. But I'm too scared. Awaken abilities happen as soon as the minion is put into play. So he's at nine now. It looks like Minotaur is ready to start fighting. Minions threaten the three lanes in front of them. Oh, so even your location matters a lot. Okay. Tell the Minotaur to attack the gatekeeper. So that incentivizes me to spread them out potentially a little bit, like every other lane a little bit, so they can potentially block other things. Since I assume you can only attack the gatekeeper if there's nothing in front of the guy or something. Attacking the, an empty lane hits the enemy player. Minions usually can't attack the empty lane unless all three opposing lanes are empty. Okay, so I was right about that. Two damage. The gatekeeper def it's defeated when his life points reach zero. This guy's just all smiles. Minions cannot attack the player if there are blockers in any of the opposing three lanes. I could use Ignition to deal two damage to that Hellion. Okay, that'll cost me one mana, one gem, it looks like. Deal two damage to anyone. I like my drinks ice cold, my enemies on fire. Hellion. Where they come from? Eyes are a liability. I don't know how that would work, but okay. Burn. So he's gone. Nothing stands in the way now. Make sure both Minotaur and Forlorn Spirit attack. Running out of hit points, Gatekeeper. Oops. I almost forgot to burn a card this turn. Pick any card and burn it. 
Well, I have a duplicate of this guy, so boop. Finish off the gatekeeper. Am I allowed to play freely now? Can I use this on him? Yes, I can. I can actually attack him directly. And there's another mini tower waiting for next turn. So he has no chance at this point. <laughs> Don't know what the blood icon means yet. Probably like health. What did you do? Oh, he played himself. You played yourself. Pit Fiend, banish the bottom four cards of your opponent's bone yard. In the darkest places, it's hard to distinguish between janitor and jailer. Huh. Demise. Oh, it's when he dies. Only when he dies. Okay. Banish. Removed from the game without triggering the demise effects or going to the bone yard. So it just takes them out, so I, I can't get them back out of my graveyard at that point. Oh, you can move your monsters left and right. That's interesting. All right. This is four plus one. So if I burn you, can I play this character over here? Of course it's magic. The main spring, spring drives the mechanisms that winds itself. Just put you way the hell over there, as if you'll ever get a chance to do anything. You are way stronger. You are way stronger. So, I see... I see two sword, one droplet. So I'm... If it's anything like Hearthstone, I'm guessing that one of them is my attack stat and the other one's my defense, my health stat. And that if I do two damage to him, he dies. But if I attack him, I might take four damage in return immediately. Anyone have a good demise stat? No, you guys all have the same stats as each other and are basically the same card. All right, go for him. Yep, they both died. So it's like Hearthstone. Uh, wow, there goes all my graveyard. Anyway. Sorry, but it's time for me to go. I got 400 coin. Singular. Seafire. Deal 5 damage to a minion. Vulcans favor left the Byzantine, Byzantine navy with little need for such tricks as pine resin or sulfur. We also so we have we have a currency and we have an experience system. You risk his anger. It's been one thousand years. Anyone reasonable will see it my way. You risk everything. Okay, tell you what. If your boss drops by. Tell him I'm looking for my mom. And maybe I wouldn't mind if he called. It just jumps straight into this. I assume there's also like multiplayer or something too. Those are that's a centaur in the middle of a city. Oh, that's a dragon up there. Blimps. She emerges in a darkened corner of a city that she does not know. This feels like Shadowrun. There's an axe! The world is not as it was. Mortals have remade the horizon with their towers of glass. This is a cool intro. At least the puppies are cuter here. What's your deal, little wolf? Above them, a scuttling parasite moves in the shadows. It lurks, hoping for scraps of the underworld's power. Oh, little godling, you look lost. For but a taste of your power. I will help you find your way. She has stood beside the Lord of Nightmares. This broken creature gives her little pause. Look, creep. 
It's power. You, If it's power you want a taste of. Oh, okay. These could definitely use sound effects. These cutscenes. Early access and all that. There's a little puppy now. It's completely silent. Scruffy vampire. There we go. Ah, sound is back. <laughs> so yeah, I, I imagine that the cutscenes are going to be voiced or something. There's just a general need for... Like, they did, they, did, they did the art, but not anything else yet. Use your minions carefully to defeat this foe. Just like, just, uh, just like last game, I'm going to start by burning a card. Cards I burn get shuffled back into my deck. Oh. They don't go into the graveyard. They go back in your deck. They only now are telling me that, which seems a little odd. What do these cards do? Mel Palmin Muse? Like a shirtless guy with a knife in his chest? Demise, draw a card. Most stroll along fate's strings, unaware that they are as taut edges. Blades underfoot. I have a lot of Chloe Sunshines and Forlorn Spirits. Calliope, uh, Calliope, Calliope, Calliope. Yeah, I'm having to say it for a while. Calliope Muse. Oh yeah, the Muse in the other game I played was named Calliope. I think this, there must just be a specific Muse that's named Calliope that they're all basing it on. Awaken, Divination 3. I don't need eyes to, to see that you, my friend, are in need of a little inspiration. Uh, let's see if I can read that. Divination 3, look at the top three cards of your deck. Pick one and put on top and the rest on bottom. Ah. A chance to control what you draw next with the power of divination. But she costs three to summon. He costs three to summon? Yeah. Alright, well, I've got a lot of Minitars and a lot of these guys. Minitar's not a great card, so burn. Kill it. That Strio, uh, that Strigoi pup will attack every turn if I don't stop it. Strigoi, that's what they call the vampires in the strain. So that must also be a normal word for a thing. Okay. I need to put down a blocker of my own. Summon a Minitar into one of the three lanes opposite the Strigoi pup. Boink. Okay, now they're explaining the stats here. Strength, as when minions fight, they, they deal damage equal to their strength. Health, if a minion's health reaches zero, it dies. There's life tap? Life tap grants the controlling player life equal to the damage dealt in combat. Ooh. Good thing I started with more, I guess. So when that thing attacks, it's going to... It has one attack, but I have one health. I, I have two attack, but it has two health, so we're going to wipe each other out perfectly. But it will make its owner gain one hit point as a result. Vampires. When the Strigoi pup attacks, it will have to attack your minion rather than dealing damage directly to you. Oh, he's burning things. Yep, now he's up to 10. Oh, and he used ignition directly on me. But he doesn't have anything on the board now. Danger, danger. This thing costs two, so I could play this if I wanted to. Instead of the mini tar again. Which I think I will. Got him. Okay, so now he's burned enough cards that he can play multiple. Thankfully, they're both blocked, but she won't last. My minion can attack either enemy. Pick the one that you think is most dangerous and attack. Oh yeah, I can kill either of them, thankfully. When a minion is blocked by more than one enemy, you can decide which one to attack. Yeah. Or I could play additional cards. Hmm. God, we will wipe each other out. All right.
Let's burn you. I can play you. It's a three. Or you. Divination. Doesn't hurt. There we go. Pick a card to put on top of your deck. Oh, these are disappointing. More divination. Uh, let's attack the one that isn't blocked by the divin the by Calliope. So, boop. They've killed each other. How tragic. You can't attack me yet. You've got to go through me. And if that demon attacks me, he will die. But I won't, because I'm a 3-3. Three -three. That scruffy vampire has Lurker. It'll be hard to attack it directly unless it's alone. Lurker. Enemies must attack other blocking minions before a Lurker. So it's like a rogue character. If there's multiple targets, they attack the other guy instead. And it also has life tap. Why are such weak predators drawn to prey that is beyond their hunting ability? Hmm. Good question, because I'm pretty sure this guy will wipe them out. Guy, girl, I can't tell. I need to zoom in more. I can't. I don't think I can. I'm gonna reach four here, which I should probably commit to. Get rid of Ignition to draw a Chloe Sunshine. What are you gonna do about that, huh? Die. <laughs> uh, so if I attack you, I'll live. But you won't. What? Oh wait, no, he had three attack, right? Yeah, right. I don't know how I messed that one up. I've spent my mana. I have not spent my gems, but I don't have anything that spends gems at that rate. Ankle biter. I seem to it seems like everything costs way more mana than gems so far. What did you do? Can I use this to look at recent cards? Ankle biter. Demise ability? Yeah, uh, Demise's draw a card. Tendons aren't filled with blood, but you have to admire the tenacity. Breach. Uh, triggers when dealing combat damage to a player. Oh. So he has plus two to attack when he attacks the player, but he has to reach the player. Otherwise, he only has one, and he sucks. Why didn't he get wiped out by fighting me, though? He played something else. Didn't you play- oh, this one over here. Blood Moon. All your minions get Demise draw a card until your next turn. Ah. Rest assured that your deaths will serve a higher purpose, Ixion. Turgoy familiar. Swift. Vampire cards cost you one less mana to play. I saw you. It saw you? Go. Those bloodsuckers won't get be far behind. Uh, did he- did that attack me? It's 2-2. Two, two. I think he played that thing and attacked me. Swift probably means gets an extra remove action each turn. Hmm. This character always has demise draw a card, so eh. This is a surprisingly cheap card. I can stack you while also using fire this turn. Wow, those are disappointing. Uh, hey, you. Turns out that my whole deck is only like five cards repeating. Watch out, you take damage if you try to draw from an empty deck. Over your, de over your deck to see how many cards are left. Shit. Eight. Alright, so it's gonna last a while, but he's no he's also gonna last a while, so that's not great news for me. Alright. I have one more mana I can spend. I should probably burn a card too, right? Which then puts it back in my deck to draw again. Let's kill this guy. 
and then attack. You're going to be in trouble if you don't pick it up, dude. Neither of us has, has a lot of hand to work with right now. Scruffy vampire. So I'm right back to him again. The Melope Muse. I can't use up all of these, uh, all the, all the stuff I have here. I run out of uh, things to work with pretty quickly. Just play you, burn you. Eventually I have enough that I'll be able to play both cards at once, probably. We want somebody that's gonna survive. They both have three health left, so they're largely fine. But this one will attack for more, so he should attack the boss. Gotta deal with the fact that every time I fight a vampire, he heals again. So I have to do a lot of damage to win. This game's definitely on phones. Swift again. They keep doing that. That keeps adding that effect to them. Okay. Wow, you're a terrible card to draw, but I'm about to win anyway. I can tell it's a phone game because not only is this thing here, which is like the universal phone game. There's the universal me uh, symbol for like menu in a phone game. And all here. But also it's telling me the time it, the current time ran under it, which is just a weird detail to have on a, on a uh, computer game. Minitar. All right. I get burner play, but at this point, I don't have enough. I, I'm, I, everything I've ever seen is playable at this point, so there's no reason to not just play it. Two two, you say? Uh, you'll survive, and you will attack. Did I win? Yeah. This power. You can't be. You win. 400 coin. I imagine this is like an intro tutorial before you get to play multiplayer or something, but I honestly don't know. Icor Feast. Draw three cards and lose three life. Even gods may bleed, the nectar of which quickens life to the core. And some neat card art. The Minitar is so strange of an inclusion, though. Everything else is so grim. Okay, Creeper, time for listening. Getting grabby in an alley is never okay. Look how cute the puppy is. You, what are you? That's not listening, that's talking. You smell like summer. Like darkness overwhelming. Are you a god? Even if I am, there are way bigger gods. No, the real gods have been gone for so long. You are going to change everything. I'm not here to change anything. I just want to find my mom. Don't know why she's looking for her mom, but this is a cool setting to look around in. I'm pretty game for this. That's about all the time we have for today. Also, did the game just freeze? I'm not sure. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at the puppy. That's about all the time we have left for today, though. So thanks for watching, like always, guys. Check out the link in the description to check out the game. I don't know if it's publicly available yet, but you can wishlist it if it's not available yet and to check it out. Or if it's available, you can hop in and try it out but uh thanks for watching like always guys thanks to developers for letting giving me access to the little alpha test for their game and i'll see you guys next time mm -hmm.